Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome back to another video. This is Coach Chef Starters 114, and we are going to solve the Christmas candy problem. So, in this problem, the the statement is very simple. Like uh, there are like n friends numbered from one to n, and they are uh, seated in a straight line where the ith seat is taken by a friend numbered a. So, uh, for ith seat. the a just represents something like a name of that friend okay and the in this christmas the friend have decided to distribute candies among each other for each of the index the friend at the ith seat will gift one candy to the friend at the jth seat if j is greater than i a is less than a, a j is less than ai find the number of people who receive at least one candy so what do they mean by that is if we have many index like 1 2 3 4 5 if uh, some guys are like 30 40 1 2 3 only uh, a guy from the left can give a candy to the guy from the right guy in the right so 40 can give a candy to one or two or three and also whatever value you take right on the left side that left side value should be maximum then only the right side guy's value should be minimum then only the candy can be exchanged so if the guy's name is like 40 the value is maximum right then he can give it to one he can give it to two he can give it to three 30 can give to 40 no because 30's value is less than 40 so it's not possible but 30 can give to one 30 can give to two and 30 also can give to three so 40 and 30 does not represent the number of candies it just represents the name of the person or just the value that's all the candies can be unlimited or anything now we want to know uh what did they ask number of people who receive at least one candy who receive it so here in this case one receives one candy two receives one candy and three also receives not the number of candies at least one candy so these guys receive it now what is the brute force approach i take a number and go to the extreme left and see whether a number is greater than or, uh, me or not and since they told at least one we just have to check whether are there any at least one number exist who is greater than myself if we take the consider of 2 i will go to left check that if one is greater than 2 no check 40 40 is greater than 2 right so you increment the candy number for 2 so 2 increases 1 increases 3 increases but if we do it we get time limit exceeded that takes too much time so we have to do something more optimal way so optimal way is like pretty standard what do we do we come from the extreme left and keep track of the maximum value that we are getting if the present value is less than the maximum value then we can say that we are incrementing the candy counts or the people count who are receiving the candy suppose 30 is the maximum here 30 is greater than 40 no now 40 becomes the maximum goes here now i check 40 is greater than 1 yes so in the answer i increment 1 okay 1 is greater than maximum no right now 2 uh is 2 is uh, greater than 40 no because i know that 40 is already greater so in the result i increment 1 again now you go for 3 i check with the maximum maximum is 40 40 is greater than 3 so always i exist something so 1 so the answer is 3 here similarly let's uh, try for a sample test case for 1 2 1 is less than 2 right so there is no left value who are greater than 2 so it's zero For three, one, two, one can receive a candy from three, and two can receive a candy from three. That's why you got two. For one, two, three, four, left side nobody is there. For one, one can receive a candy from four, three, and two, but they told at least one candy he needs to receive, and one is a eligible person who receives a candy. So one is the ideal candidate here. Let's understand this with the help of a example. Uh, we understood. We'll understand this with the help of a code. So this is two, three, four, one. So what do we do? We just uh, iterate through all the elements. So if b is greater than max c, I tell that max c will become b. So two is greater than zero initially. So max c becomes two. Now three is greater than two. So max c becomes three. Four is greater than this. So it becomes four. Now one came. One is not greater than max c. That means what? I already have someone. Who is greater than me on the leftmost side? So I increment the count. That means one, the value with one, the person at least one person. So the on the fourth index, one person exists who is receiving the candy. Suppose again, if two comes, I will increment the count to two because two can receive a candy from four because four is the maximum value. 
so by this way we are able to derive the solution it's very simple and uh, this is the code and if you have any doubts please let me know in the comments and if you like the video please share your comments as well thank you